stop the driver of a vehicle. That driver was speeding and the Mercedes SUV was reported stolen. So the driver fled at a high rate of speed and ended in a collision at the intersection of Markham Road and Milner Avenue. There were a total of six vehicles involved. The driver of the Mercedes-Benz SUV was taken to hospital and pronounced deceased. And the driver of a Honda Odyssey was taken to hospital and that man is in critical life-threatening condition. It took off and then it ended in this uh, collision. It was uh, at a high rate of speed. The Mercedes-Benz flipped over on, um, on the top of its roof. And uh, as you can see, there is a lot of damage uh, to the, the vehicle behind me. Was there a police pursuit? The information that I have is there was no pursuit, however, Toronto Police Service officers did attempt to stop the vehicle and the driver took off. Um, that will be a key part of what the SIU will be investigating. We have a collision reconstructionist on the scene and he is trying to paint a better picture of what happened here. We also have forensic investigators that are here collecting evidence. There are also a number of investigators that are collecting surveillance uh, video footage and interviewing any civilian witnesses. Coming to work this morning, you had to pull a UE to get into work because what did you see? Like a cloud of smoke or something? Yeah, I came up, come up Markham, northbound, saw a big poof of smoke, and uh, all the cars were stopped. And then I had to pull a UE, go back around Progress, came out and took a look and saw this massive accident. What did you think of it when you saw it? Is like something out of, like you said, I think something like Grand Theft Auto earlier today here or something? Yeah, or? it just seemed like that, how the car flipped over, six cars basically smashed, fire trucks, police everywhere. The initial information I have is that there were two cruisers that may have been involved at the early stages and then it ended here but as far as a, a pursuit I don't have information about that um, that's not confirmed but um, it's believed that there was no pursuit it was kind of an initial stopping and then the driver fled at a high speed